immediately oh my gosh andy thank you so much for the sub <laughs> well welcome hello your girl is cozy today super super cozy no makeup glasses snuggy kind of day <laughs> but trenton congratulations on being first it's so wonderful to see you andy it's great to see you thank you so much for joining us uh looks like you're grappling with some bad writer's block oh that's the fucking worst i'm so sorry to hear that may i ask um what you're working on currently and also hawk what the fuck is up welcome in it's great to see you uh someone help me fight our internet it's been chugging and just keeps giving up oh no I'm so sorry, that sucks. I feel that though, I used to have internet problems for the longest, but um, it uh, it has worked out because now Pond and I have better internet. So I'm hoping the same for you. I hope y'all get some better internet. Also, sorry if you see me fucking around with my webcam. I just noticed 
that there's there's a little bit more here we go now we're all set how has everybody's week been happy friday happy fucking friday has anybody had anything uh, particularly noteworthy happen to them this week I'm working on an origin story for the Empress Tarot meeting the Emperor. <gasps> oh yeah, your tarot series. I remember you talking about this in the Discord. That is super cool. Um, I'm sorry to hear that you're having some block with it though. Maybe maybe a good step away and uh, um <clears throat> A good break will help bring back some of that inspiration. I know that it's super hard to deal with creative blocks like that. Got out of work the other day because of it, though. Oh, yay, let's go! No fucking work because no internet? Hell yeah. Oh, hell fucking yeah. That's kind of like, um... What's it called? It's not kind of like... I don't know why. It just reminded me of the fact that, um... I get to put part of our internet bill in my taxes. <laughs> because, and you could too. If you use your internet for work, you can put your part of your internet bill on your tax form and get a return for that shit. I know I did. Get out of work. Oh, I already saw that. <laughs> yes. We did have internet after a short while, but work was not informed of that. Oh, no. I wouldn't tell work either. <laughs> like, you might as well be out the full day. You know, that's my motto, is if I could only do a couple of hours, I might as well not go in. Because <laughs> um, for me, I feel like work entails so much more because I don't drive, so it's not just like a quick like, ooh, get there and get back. I have to call an Uber, and I have to, yeah, it's like a whole thing. The start of it is the Empress's pet snow leopard named Muffin dragging the Emperor out of his sleeping bag and bringing him back to her. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the, with the lore to be honest, but that's super cool. Also y'all, cheers. Make sure that we all have our hydration station near us, all right? Um, make sure you're cozy, get something to snack on, get something to sip on, maybe something warm if it's cold, and uh, um, one, two, three, go. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. I feel gross. But yeah. Does anyone have any plans for the weekend? I unfortunately work again on this Saturday. So tomorrow. I'm making it up as I go, you know? Ooh! So it's all original. I love that. I have sparkling rose grape juice. Sparkling rose grape juice. Rose grape juice. It's like something I really like right next to something I hate. <laughs> I hate um, like grape flavored things. Grapes themselves, delicious. I love me a good juicy grape. But you know what I'm talking about? The artificial grape flavoring and things is ugh, disgusting to me. But I would like some sparkling rose juice, but the grape is where I get thrown off. I've been chugging water all day, and now I have a soda shop drink. Oh, cute. You know what? You drank a lot of water today. You, you deserve that soda. You earned it. You know? What kind of soda is it? What's your favorite type of soda? That's for everyone, because I love me a Dr. Pepper. I like Dr. Pepper. Thank you so much.
You don't have any big plans for the weekend? Do you plan to just kind of stay in? Because that's always really nice too. Me and Trenton are wanting to go shopping tonight and I bought some fabric the other day to make myself a blanket. So I will be working on that. Oh, you're making a blanket. How fun. Sorry, y'all. I'm having to text my boss really quick. On his way home from work. Sorry. So, to give you a little bit of background. Um, I got my paycheck today. Which, you know, wonderful. Love, love getting paid. However, um, I got my paycheck today and I noticed it looked a lot smaller than it should have been. And it's like, it wasn't enough to make rent. So my heart sank into my asshole for a second. <laughs> but um, it ended up being that the payroll office or like the payroll that we use made a mistake and they didn't put our tips into our checks. So now it has to be like a whole separate check to get the leftover from our tips that we didn't get on our original check. And it's just a big headache and I just got the text like right now as I've hit live 15 minutes ago that now the new check is ready. Now it is, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Pond to, to pick it up on the, his way home from work. Um, sorry, just to give you a little bit inside of just why I'm a little bit distracted at the moment. Ooh, it's supposed to be like rosé. Oh! Oh! I see. So it's like, it's grape juice. Like, not like grape juice, the kind of grape juice that you get in like... What's it called? Like the plastic containers? But it's more of like a replacement wine. I think that's cool. Consider me, uh, consider my previous comments goofy. Some actual grape juice, delicious. Like A Treat, it's a local soda brand and they have two flavors I adore, grapefruit and sass, sasparilla. Or is that sassabria? It looks like sassabria to me. Diet Dr. Pepper for sure. Oh, I hate diet. Diet is disgusting. Sorry. I am like trying to make sure that my camera is focusing on my face. Yay. There we go. Hello. Um, I hate diet sodas. I think I've talked about this once or twice before. But I think that diet sodas are disgusting. They have that aftertaste. And it's nasty. This one is a monster with some flavor mix-ins. What? I think Mountain Dew to top it off. What? What kind of concoction are you having right now? Oh wait, no. So it's not. So your your favorite is Diet Dr Pepper, but at the moment you're drinking a monster with a flavor mix-in with Mountain Dew in it. What the fuck? <laughs> your poor heart. Oh, I said it right the first time. It's sarsaparilla. Oh, it's another type of root beer. Got it. I said sarsaparilla. <laughs> oh, you know what? Now that I now that I say it, sarsaparilla, it sounds familiar, and I feel like I have heard that in the same breath of like root beer talk. What the fuck is root beer talk? <laughs> We've had the diet soda convo and I agree they're terrible, but they're the only ones I can drink. That's right. We have had this conversation. We have. It's not that you like the diet, but it's just the ones that you can drink. 
Hello, May! Welcome in! How are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Y'all, I took a nap right before stream, and that's why I started a little bit late, is because I woke up way later than I anticipated. I think I fell asleep around like, it was probably like 12.30, 1 o'clock, and I had set an alarm for 1.45. And I just slept through it, and I didn't get up until 2.15. It was closer to, like, 2.20, and I was like, oh, shit. Or, I mean, 3. Sorry, 3.20. Because I started at 3.30. But, yeah, I slept for a while. I was sleepy. Grapefruit soda. Oh, grapefruit soda when it's nice and cold is amazing. Ooh, I don't believe I've ever had a grapefruit soda. If I'm being honest, I don't believe I have. It sounds really good. I like the grapefruit, um, white claws. We've had the diet soda. Oh, no, I, yeah, I read that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know what I've noticed is on YouTube, I've, I'm very bad at rereading messages constantly. <laughs> Rook has a Halloween party, so I was happy. And it's Friday. Oh, a Halloween party. Did it already happen, or are you heading to it later? That's so fun. I love Halloween parties. It's a little late, but you know what? It's never a bad time to celebrate Halloween. Thank you so much. There we go. It's a less intense, like, orange soda. Ooh, that sounds really good because I love orange soda. I don't know if y'all know this about me. I love orange soda with a passion. Like the good orange soda. Like um, the Mexican orange sodas. Delicious. Ugh, now I really want soda, but we don't have any. Y'all are so cruel to me. This always happens is we end up talking about like a food or drink that sounds delectable and I can't have it. So rude of you. It already happened. It was tame and that I was thankful for. Oh, so it was like a nice just get together. I love that for you. I always appreciate a tame little party because I'm not always trying to like get out and be crazy every single time I go out for a party, you know? There are some nights where like, yeah, sure, I can, I can be a little, a little bit crazy, but <laughs> um, for the most part, I like a good chill night with just like your coworkers or with your friends. Coconut soda is beautiful. Oh girl, you lost me. You lost me, lost me. <laughs> I hate coconut. Bet. I can update 10 mods? Oh my god. I have 10 mods that need to be updated? Bro. That's so much. Okay, I'll do that later. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. Will my game still run with, with 10 mods that I need to update? It's gonna be precarious. This is gonna be a very precarious situation. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, speaking of work parties, my work sent out an announcement for the December holiday party and they're doing a casino event thing with a buffet and alcohol. Let's go. I love to see it. Is it free? Is it all free alcohol? Because that's even better. 
coconut taste is amazing, but coconut shavings can choke. You see, I disagree. I think the coconut taste and the shavings are awful. The shavings, like the texture, disgusting. Um, but overall, I just find the taste of coconut very overwhelming. And uh, not very fun. If I'm being honest. I'd go for a buffet without the alcohol. Oh, May, Andy and I were just talking about sparkling grape juice. And it's like like a rosé, but it's non-alcoholic. How cool is that? A good old sparkling grape juice. Oh. Whoopsies. All right. Well, I guess if it's raining, we can just go straight to the mines. Most crops only grow in one season. Thanks, Graham. It's not like I didn't fucking know that already. <laughs> Alright, let's not be mean to Grams. She's a kind lady. Uh, ah, we can leave that. And let's bring the sword. And maybe cherry bombs. Do I have any food? Gosh. We don't have anything in this save. Oh, but it's salmon berry season. Let's go. We have little energy makers right here. Oh, you're not fond of grape. That's unfortunate. Oh, dandelion. I always get comments why not take a little sippy sip and I'm just looking at them like with the look like, did I talk to you? <laughs> yeah, the peer pressure is always weird surrounding alcohol. Like, why is it that in a lot of like party and social culture, so much of it relies on the presence of alcohol? So much to the fact that if you don't drink, you're looked at weird? That's strange to me. Like, why can we not have a quote unquote fun adult time um, without alcohol. There's no info on if the alcohol is free or not, but I'm assuming we didn't pay? The company seems chill like that. Oh, okay. That would be nice. Every once in a while, my work will uh, buy us margaritas at the end of the day. And that's always really fun. Love the free margs. Oh, whoops. I love wine, but it gives me super bad heartburn. Really? I had never heard of that. I can imagine, though. I have... Oh, I can't drink any kind of wine without feeling nauseous. Oh, no. I feel like wine is very much like a hit or miss for people. Like sometimes you drink wine and you feel perfect. You feel slutty. You feel amazing. You feel on top of the world. And the other half of the time, it's just a headache. There we go. I'm gonna turn that down just a smidge. I have a favorite kind of flavor in alcoholic cider, and that's yuzu. I love the fresh taste. I feel like um, I remember you talking about liking the yuzu alcohol before. I've never had yuzu alcohol. It sounds delicious. But if, have you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't know if I've ever had yuzu. I know, isn't it uh, like an Asian thing? Like an Asian fruit? All right, I see the staircase. I just want to grab these copper really quick. There's always room for more copper. Ay. There we go. Oy. I always, whenever I load up the save, I always forget how much, how little we have. <laughs> I'm always stunned with just how little we've gotten done. Well, I guess it's only the 15th of spring. 
We can't be too hard on ourselves. No! <laughs> that timing was fucked. Oh, yikes. Oh, is my inventory already full? Fuck. Early game Stardew is uh, uh, rough. No! Ah! These fucking slimes! No! I like Yuzu in everything and in food even. It has the look like a lemon, but it's not acidic. Oh, interesting. Is it like a, is it a sweet or a tart fruit? Yeah, is it sweet or tart? Or are we talking about something refreshing like a dragon fruit? Cause like high key, dragon fruit uh, doesn't have a lot of flavor. Where is it? Where's the flavor? I don't know, but like, it's still good, you know? Dragon fruit's still, like, refreshing. Even though it itself doesn't have, like, that distinctive of a taste. Oh, I got it that time. No! That one was pretty good. <laughs> She's really good. No! Oh. I hate when they turn into fucking... What's it called? Into little flies! That's the worst. Go away. They're disgusting. They're like little maggot flies. Alright. I only had yuzu with something else. Oh, I see. So you've never had just like a straight up yuzu. Is it? I wonder if it's like something that's commonly eaten on its own. You know, maybe the reason why it's always in something else is because it doesn't have that distinctive a flavor on its own. Food for thought. Dude, where's my staircase? Oh, fuck you. Yuzu tastes like a mix of lemon, mandarin, and grapefruit. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. Mandarin, lemon, and grapefruit. Lemon's like sour. Hmm. But not acidic. It's hard to imagine something that is sour, but not acidic. You know, because I think the two are so linked. So that's kind of hard to imagine. Whoop! Whoop! There we go. Yeah, hard to imagine, but now I have something to put onto the, like, not a to-do list, it's like a to-eat list. <laughs> Does anyone else have a to-eat list? Like, what's a food you've always wanted to try, but haven't tried? There we go. Wee. You could be wrong. I don't know, maybe I'll look up the flavor profile of Yuzu. No! God. When the slimes do like the triple jumps, that's not, that's not fair. If I can't triple jump, then they can't triple jump. <laughs> Bye. Ah! 
damn it. To eat worm. Why? Oh, you know what's on my to eat list is frog. I genu genuinely would really like to try frog. <laughs> like, I want to try frog legs. I hear they taste like chicken. And uh, honestly, I'm about it. I would be more than willing to try that. Oh, not the infestation. Mmm, any Korean food? Yeah, like in Korea. I would love to try Korean food in Korea. Some authentic, fresh shit. Sorry, just turning the brightness down again. Mmm, you want to have amu rice, but you haven't yet. Amu rice is so good! That was on my to-eat list for a long time. You did buy gochujang. You might try it. You don't know how spicy it is? May it's very spicy. I'm warning you. I cook with gochujang often, and I feel like I... My spice tolerance is really, really high. So I usually use, like a half of a spoonful to like a full spoonful in like my ramen and that's it you do not need a lot it's it's pretty fucking spicy and it'll turn like whatever liquid you put it into it'll start to turn it thick oh you've made a homemade omu rice and you've fallen in love I've also made homemade omu rice, but I also had omu rice when I was in Japan. And uh, it was, of course, so good and so much better than anything that I could have made. And it was so worth it. Oi. Oi. Why are there so many? Oh, bug off. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck off. Mm, you'll use a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, only use a teeny tiny bit. Whenever I make something that Pond is also going to be eating, it's like I take my spoon and I dip it into the paste and I scrape it off and I just use what's ever left over on the spoon. <laughs> is how I usually will make food for Pond with gochujang. And Pond spice tolerance is very low. But mine's super high, so it's always really hard sometimes when I make, um, like, Korean food or, like, any sort of spicy food for us. Because sometimes I literally end up having to just make two separate dishes. Fond cannot handle his spice. But then I feel like I can't, like, there's just, if it's not spicy, it's missing a whole key component. And I'm just not going to enjoy it. Like, what, what is spicy ramen without the spice, you know? But spicy ramen for pond is like having a little bit of pepper in it. <laughs> I used to just sit and watch, like, Korean street food videos, and the m food looks so good. Korean street food is on another level. And Japanese street food, to be honest. All East Asian street food is just on an entirely different level. Could not be us. What street food do we have? Like hot dogs? There's a lote, but that's like a that's like a Latina thing. So it's not like American. So yeah, what street food do we have besides like hot dogs, corn dogs? And like funnel cake? Well that's all like carnival food. Does that count as street food? I don't know if that counts as street food. I could try making half a spoon like you. If I can't, I can give it to a coworker. <laughs> That's fair. But honestly, ugh, 
Just the spice. The spice is so good. It's such a game changer. I love anything with gochujang in it. Mmm, make sure you add a little bit of sugar to whatever you're cooking. Because it cuts out the gochujang's acidity. And it tastes really good. Or honey. I use both sometimes. Depends on what I'm making. And what I have on hand. <gasps> Arthur! Hello, McShoes! Oi, bruv! You hanging in there? Oi, bruv, it's, it's Friday, isn't it? It's Friday, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it? How much, how much does this have? Oh, okay, yeah, throw that shit away. <laughs> oi, 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 oi! There we go. Get all that fiber. Ah! Ah! Here we go. Open up the safe, bitches. Got a lot to say. Ooh, pussy in your face. That'll put you in your place. Oh, God. I don't have any room for the silver ore. But how are you doing, Arthur? How has your week been? Did anything exciting happen? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Alright. Oi, bruv, it's Friday and I'm feeling alright, I am. <laughs> I love to hear that. Love to hear when the bruv is doing fine. God, that accent is so butch. That's a, that's a hacked accent. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, give me a man after midnight. There we go. Oh, fuck off. Entirely fuck off. Da! Okay, I think I should leave. Rip. Rip a doodle. Oh. <clears throat> Whoops. I only have 400 gold. This is sad. What a sad situation. Gonna do some more packing. Um, uh, and planning university things. Ooh! How fun! You're being so productive this evening. I could never. <laughs> I, I could not. Why do you spell Arthur like that? <laughs> Um, anything to sell? I'll sell, I'll sell the salmon berry. Just to say that I, I did something today. There we go. Good night! <laughs> I love that everybody's rushing over to say hello to Arthur. Oh, a whole 15 G. Thanks. All right, let's see. <gasps> My watering can! I forgot that that's what we decided to do. My watering can! Oh, that means I can't take care of any of my crops right now. Rip. At least we can sell some parsnip. Do I need this? Oh, I do. Okay, let's go bring the parsnip. Let's also just check and see and make sure that I don't have anything in here that I currently need to donate. We need to donate some stone, some wood. All right, doesn't look like anything else. Of course I have to say to my lovable friends. <laughs> Please, that emote jump scared me. 
<laughs> Not the demon face. Whenever I see that face, I think of my demon voice, like the Bussin voice. All right, let me grab all of these forgeables. They are all mine. Ah, my inventory's already full. Are you kidding me? Bruv. Not having a backpack is fucking rough, bruv. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Let's gander. Okay, I still need to put a green bean and a cauliflower after this. Artisan, animal. I think the construction bundle is down here. Yes! You need 99 wood, 99 stone, and 10 hardwood. That's not too hard. <clears throat> And didn't this just open up for us? Do I have anything donated yet? I don't believe so. Yeah, so we have to work on that. Let me pull up my... Um, oh, Sheets.google.com. There we go. Um, pull up my... Uh, what's it called? Words. My, my, uh, community center in one year guide. Okay, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Give me the checklist! Oy. It's fine. I do not want to be fucking up. There it is. It's not in my sheets. It's in my docks. I was being a straight fool. All right. Let's look at this, shall we? Uh, let's see. Spring. We need to put sunfish, catfish, shad, sardine. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Where are you getting all of these emotes, Hawk? YouTube's got some strange emotes. It doesn't have a lot, but what it does have, it's it's unique. It's interesting. I'll give them that. <laughs> uh, work towards construction of a barn in their coop. You'll want a cow, a goat, a rabbit, a pig, a brown chicken, a white chicken, and a duck. Okay. Okay, okay. Upgrade your backpack. Ignore strawberries. Try to get up to level four of foraging. Purchase and plant an orange tree and a peach tree between the 21st and the 23rd. I don't think I'll need to do that because I have the, I'm going to pick the bat cave. The fruit cave this time around. All right. Okay, I think this should be relatively easy. Beamsy! Hello! Oh, it's better TV. Okay, okay. Beamsy, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for popping into our YouTube stream. I really appreciate it. How are you doing today? What are you up to? All right, let's catch a sunfish, a shad, 
Yeah, we got stuff to work on. Yeah, absolutely wonderful to see you here today. Yes, hoi hoi. Yeah, I love our little uh, YouTube streams over here. They feel very intimate. There's a gnat flying around my monitor and I've been trying to clap it all day, but it's evading and I'm going insane. Oh no, not that. Sometimes the little flies are the fucking worst. <clears throat> uh, oh, fuck. I was gonna say I'm gonna grab that, but my inventory is full. Let's just sell all of the forage that <laughs> we have. I don't need that. We'll also go fishing. I hate that my brain wants to say go Nat. <laughs> I'm good. I was just about to start my stream in a bit, but I saw you and wanted to say hello to you and everyone. Oh, Beamsy, you're so sweet. I really appreciate you sticking around and popping in to say hi, even though you're busy getting ready for stream yourself. I know that sometimes it can be stressful trying to get ready for a stream, so I really appreciate you taking the time to come in. That's so kind. What are you streaming today? Is it The Sims? <laughs> but I also, when I looked at that at first, I was like, oh shit, that is how you spell Nat. Did you have a good Samhain? I did have a good Samhain. How about you? What did you end up doing? I had kind of a, not a lazy one, but kind of like a, a shut-in Samhain. All very personal things. Did some personal ancestor work. Um, offered up some food to some recently deceased loved ones. Meditated, did a tarot reading. All really small, but really like meaningful things. Probably the Decades Challenge for The Sims. Ooh, fun! I've never done a Decades Challenge, but it always looks so cool. I just don't feel like I'm creative enough. <laughs> or like know the Decades well enough. Oh, I don't have her in my inventory. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me go and sell some shit to Willy. You right, Clit. You right. I'm sorry. I went to a bar costume party. Ooh, fun! And you did some ancestor work. Oh, I love to hear that. Oh, why did I sell that? I needed to put that in the community center. Oh, what's wrong with me? It's fine, we can always get another one. It's fine. What were you for um, your costume? I'm assuming you also celebrated Halloween. All right. I have one, one slot in my inventory. Give it to me. Thank you. All right. Let's get the rest of our work done for the day. And then I'll probably just focus on some more fishing. Oh, hello, Haley. Nice makeup. Or wait, are you even wearing any? I'm bored. You know what? That's sweet that you thought I was wearing makeup. But no, my face is just naturally that gorgeous. Thank you, Haley. You see, she's nice. <laughs> She, she can be nice. Okay. Ooh, we can plant these rice shoots. That would be nice. All right. I don't have to... Oh, no, I do. I was gonna say, I don't think I have to hoe. But I do need to. Ah! God damn it. There we go. Copper water ring, activate. There we 
would go. Oh yeah, by the way, what was everyone for Halloween? I don't believe I asked yet. What did everyone dress up as? I was an old hospital lady complete with a walker, hospital gown, slipper socks, and a gray wig. Oh my gosh, how fun. My boyfriend was my zombie husband brought back to life after I unalived him. Oh! I love the story. <laughs> I love that there was there was thought behind the plot. I appreciate that. That must have been so much fun. Um, Pond and I were Shaggy and Velma. Mine was like a budget Velma. Like, I forgot that Halloween existed until 3 p.m. that afternoon kind of Velma. But it was Velma nonetheless, and it worked. And it looked cute. I literally, I had this super long brown wig, but Velma has a bob. So I just, I just started hacking away at my long, thick, curly brown wig. Because I was like, well, this isn't going to work. Shink, 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 shink. I just had a horn headband. You know what? That still counts. Were you, were you a unicorn? Gotta try to keep it interesting, I guess. <laughs> I love that. That's the best kind of Velma, in my opinion. Oh, thank you. I thought that I looked very cute. I don't dress up like super femininely like that very often. But when I do, sometimes I'm like, oh, like that's nice. Like it's a cute little costume. Definitely gonna need to take it off by the end of the day, but still, cute. <clears throat> oh, you had devil horns. Oh, so you were a little devil. I was not feeling okay, so for the first time in my life, oh, I didn't dress up for Halloween and I was so sad about it. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's gotta suck, I'm sorry. I hope that next year you're able to have a better Halloween. And that you have a, a much better experience, friend. Oh, not the green algae. Just give me another sunfish. Am I already out of water? Oh my god. Shitty. Bing bong! Aye! Also, in case you didn't realize, I do have the auto-fishing mod. I cannot be bothered to do the fishing in this game. <laughs> I hate it. And I don't care that I'm cheating. Ah! Okay, there we go. Next year, me and Trenton will hopefully have our own place. And we're going to decorate and go all out. Yes. Having holidays once you're in your own place is so different. But it's a good type of different, you know? You have that sense of, like, independence and, like, I'm going to do what I want to do, not whatever traditions have been forced upon me. Uh, is it river fish? Yes. There you go. One sunfish. For the taking. I think I'll probably still go fishing, probably by the beach. Just so... Too chub. Sure. I don't know where you catch chub. Maybe in the river? No. My coworker had her son there dressed up as a joker. Oh, and Harley Quinn. That's cute. I feel like for a while, there were a lot of Harley Quinns. I was Harley Quinn one year. I did um, pop art of her on my face. So I was like comic book Harley Quinn. It was fun. Oh, 
It gets light so quick. Another sunfish. Enter the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, shit. Oh, and I have the Robin Axe quest. Okay. Gosh, you know when it starts getting cold? Does anyone else have this problem where, like, the ring of your upper lip start to get red and chapped and itchy and sore? Ah, this is my one, like, biggest drawback when it comes to cold weather is my face gets really dry and my lips get chapped and irritated so easily. I love pop art makeup. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture later. But it was soups cool. It was my first time trying it too. Oh shit, I didn't send that message. Oh, I got a bream? <clears throat> Please and thank you. Oh, fucking driftwood. Out of here. Do I need a bream for a community center? I do! My lips are eternally dry. I hate it. Yeah, and sometimes uh, regular chapstick doesn't work. I like... <coughs> Oh, sorry, I <laughs> I like the like the oil ones. I feel like the oil based lip moisturizers work way better for me. River night. Mine's mainly the corners. I hate it because the corners of my mouth hurt and are chapped and I like to talk and everything so that's uncomfortable yeah and I can imagine if you would like smile and shit and talking that's gotta suck I fortunately haven't had my corners but for me it's always like like the sides of my lips like right up here like after my cupid's bow mm, and sometimes does anyone else have this experience when if you let your lips go chapped or like What's it called? Like, a uh, dry like this for too long? You get cold sores? Because that happens to me constantly. I am always getting cold sores because of my chapped lips. And it's simply the worst. Oh, and eating is impossible when that happens. Oh, God. Imagine biting into something acidic and having, like, the, the acid or the salt get up all in the hole. No. Mm-mm. That sounds like something I would not want to deal with. I am so sorry that that happens to you. And what do we have? 745, not too bad. I think that brings us over like a thousand gold, which makes me feel better. All right, what do we have? Lots of pollen. And the spirits are neutral. Ooh. Let me watch this Queen of Sauce rerun just in case. Okay. I figured I probably already had it, but just to make sure cauliflower time let's go I only have five mm -mm -mm. okay I think I'm gonna buy a bunch of parsnips because we need five gold ones anyways and they're also just quick money makers. So 
Send me some positive vibes here. I don't get cold sores, but my boyfriend's lips trap so bad. It looks like he, he's got one of those pedicure stones on his lips. Oh my God. That's awful. Chapped lip club. Population me and Beansy's boyfriend. There we go. What are these? I forget. No! Oh. Oh. Stupid inventory. Uh, I'm gonna need one of those. I'll sell the strawberries. Save this. And I need that. Roll out. Oh no, it's Wednesday! Ugh, I wanted to go straight to Pierre's. Man. Oh, there you are. Hi, Claire. I'm sick of working today as she's on her way to work. Me too. That's a schmood. What a schmood, what a schmood. Hi, jackass. Uh, up here. Whoops. I have never once heard somebody refer to a body part as <laughs> looking like a pedicure stone. That was definitely a first. Spring! Awesome. Now we're just waiting on a green bean. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna have to work on those poor snips. I guess I can fish some more today? Um, what other fish do we need? I could do a catfish, shad, a sardine, an eel. Catfish and shad, I'm pretty sure you don't get until later in the day. Oh no. Between 6 a.m. and 12 a.m. So like all the time, every day. Oh, oh, it's only when it's raining. Only when it's raining, I see. Speaking of work, only five minutes left. Let's go, Hawk. Heck yeah. I'm happy to hear it. How was work today? Has it been fast, slow? All right, how about a shad? Where do we get the shad? Can be caught in the river. Also when it rains. Okay. A sardine. <laughs> A sardine can be found at the ocean at any time. Cool. Any weather. Oh, no, not any time. Between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. Okay, so we should probably go now if we want to get a sardine. And an eel, I'm pretty sure, is a night fishing thing. I've been playing House Flipper, <laughs> so I have no idea. I love that. House Flipper sounds fun. I remember you, wasn't it you that told me, Hawk, that you think I'd like that game? Because it's very chaotic. Which I respect, because yes, I am just a little bundle of chaos. I'm glad you noticed. Oh, is this really the first artifact I found? What the fuck? What have we been doing in this playthrough? I always find that my stream playthroughs, it's like, what the fuck is, has been happening here? It's because I'm just constantly talking and not paying attention to what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Oh, I think you told me once that you think that I would like House Flipper. God, look at that. That is the first artifact I've donated. 
spring nearly up. Oh, not chaotic. The decoration is something you'd like. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I misremembered entirely. I clapped the gnat, but it didn't perish? Oh my god. It's evolving. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that it's evolved. He's one strong son of a bitch, I guess. I hate when you go to try and kill bugs and they don't die when you want them to. And then that's also terrifying because you're like, what kind of sick fucking mutation is this? Give me sardine! Okay, great. Awesome. We'll just spend the rest of the day fishing and making money. You clapped its little cheeks. Clapped its little cheeks and moved on. Damn. <laughs> clapped his little cheeks. Gnats are fucking disgusting, dude. Ooh. Aren't gnats just baby flies? Right? That's what they are? Just a little baby fly. God, I'm getting so many sardines all of a sudden. Oh my god, another sardine! Oh, these ones are gold quality. Hell yeah. Hmm? Oh, that one was That one was iridium quality Look at that I'm so mad though Because we have an entire room Why is it hanging out in front of my face? Don't they always Isn't that always how insects operate? Like they could be anywhere else in the house But no, they choose to be Right in front of you Right in your face At all times Who knows why all right, you can have all of those. I'm gonna clear up an inventory slot. Boom. More fishing. No, not the trash. Oh, an anchovy. Oh! Constantly having to free up inventory space. Take the anchovy. And I will go donate these. And then we'll come back. I kind of want to see if we can catch an eel tonight. But I don't think that they start spawning until after 7 p.m. Might be telling me I need a shower. Ah! Oh my god, do you stink? Is that why? Give yourself a little, a little schniff. <laughs> or, um, get Tretton to do a smell check. Because sometimes if I don't know if I'm stinky, I'll, I'll ask Pond to, like, come over and walk by me and then hug me and tell me if I'm stinky, if I'm stinky. Because if, if he can walk by me and I'm stinky, then that means that other people are walking by me and also stinking my stink. But then... I also, I'm a hugger, so I ask him to hug me. And if he can smell stink when someone's hugging me, then it, I still, I gotta do something. So yeah, get Trenton to do a smell check. Ocean. Boop. There you go. Mm, mayhaps I'll actually stop by the farm so I can drop some of my unnecessary tools off so I can stop making so many trips. 
I've accidentally gone like more than a week without showering and I'll feel gross, but Trenton always says I don't smell bad, so I don't know. Oh no, maybe he's nose blind. He might be nose blind to it. Rip. Yeah, what if I what if we did just our fishing pole? Just for fish. I have been keeping a heating pad on my back and it's making me a little sweaty though. So like maybe, oh. Yeah, Pond gets night sweats. And he tells me about how waking up sweaty like that is just like the worst fucking feeling. Cause I don't really have night sweats or anything like that very often at all. Oh no, I can't make it, okay. How do I... How am I supposed to get this one? Ah. Ah. Okay, whatever. I can't do it. I give up. Mm, have you been keeping a heating pad on your back because it hurts? I'm sorry to hear that if it does. Same, sometimes I think I did a little pee-pee in my sleep, but nope, it's just sweat. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll wake up and I'll like, Pond is already like left for work, or maybe he's already like out and about, and I'll like reach my arm over, and I feel the spot on his bed, and I'm like, the f what happened? Did you like jump into the shower and then immediately lay down on the sheets? <laughs> But it's fine. You know what? He's on testosterone, too. So, it makes him real sweaty. And he's he's getting to the point on T where he's starting to smell like a man. <laughs> and we'll constantly make jokes about it. Because it's just such like a noticeable difference in smell. You know, not that it's necessarily like, Ew! It smells so bad! But it's like, it's different. I think the weather getting cold super fast made my back start hurting. Oh no, my mom has the same issue. You know what, Pond also has a similar issue. He has issues with his joints and bones in general. Um, he has a chronic illness and moving from hot to cold is always the worst. Not the man stench. Y'all have a distinctive scent. You really do. It's so distinct and I'm starting to smell it off a of Pond. <laughs> Um, I, I, it's very much, I, y'all, y'all stanky. <laughs> Different, uh, hormones getting excreted. Oh, halibut. Do I need halibut for the community center or can I sell that? All right, there go the bubbles. That was starting to bother me. I hate when the bubbles show up and I can't do anything about it because I can't reach it. Eel? No. Give me an eel! P, E, to the T, T, Y. P, E, to the T, T, Y. I don't know why I've had that stuck in my head. Like the, it was on it was a TikTok sound for a while. It was like I'm petty, yeah, yeah, I'm petty. Uh, 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 uh. P E to the T T Y. P E to the T T Y. Y'all ever just get like those little sounds from TikTok stuck in your head, and then you're just doing it all day, for the rest of the day, and it's so annoying. It's been like that for for that, and then also, it's corn! A big lump with knobs, it has the juice. It has the juice. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. 
IRL, eels can suffer. They are so scary and for why. Eels taste bussin' though. I love some unagi. That shit slaps. Yeah, a bitch can get fucked up with some unagi. Unagi sushi? Ooh! It's so good. All right, get rid of all of that, please. Wait, do I need the halibut? I don't think that I need the halibut or the flounder, but I just want to check. Okay, I don't. Boop, boop, goodbye. And then we'll put the rest of you away. Grab these guys. Nope. There we go. Good night. All right now I have the education correction and the JG Wentworth ones themes in my head. And it's been driving me. Oh, education connection? The. <laughs> the working for hourly wage. I went to high school, didn't do great. Still, I gotta make more cash. More education is what I'm looking at. When I get a degree, I will make a bigger salary. So now I've got to see which college is right for me. That one, right? <laughs> get connected for free with Education Connection. Get connected for free. Yeah, Education Connection. <laughs> I love that everybody that was born in the 90s or early 2000s knows exactly what that song is. Do not speak of sushi. I already bought Chinese yesterday. I don't need to eat out more. I'm sorry. I want sushi so bad. How can I not talk about it? Sushi's so good. All right, I am out of water. And I do kind of have to pee. Should we play some words on stream for a little bit? While I go and uh, relieve myself. Bum, bum. Yeah, connection. Okay. <laughs> I was like, who's education correction? I've never heard of this. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm just going to be... Un momento. All right, there we go. I do too. Thanks for helping me make up my mind. And Trenton will shop and get sushi. Amazing. <laughs> I love being an enabler. All right, y'all. I'm going to take a quick five. Pee on your chair. You won't. You're right. I won't. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. I will not be pissing in any chairs anytime soon. Unless it is... A throne made of porcelain, which I am now going to go and do. I'll see you in a couple minutes.
Arthur, congratulations on foist. As always, you know what that means. You get the honorary kiss on the forehead. Mwah! There you are. The delay. I know. I have it on the... <clears throat> no. I'm so sorry. I accidentally set the latency to normal instead of low. So that's why. That's my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's stinky. But yeah, that's the reason why the, the delay is stinky. I'm sorry. That's shitty. Damn it. Oh, thank you for the hug. Thank you, thank you. But good job, y'all. Even with the delay. You still did such a good job. Sorry, my hair is bugging. Did we all grab some water and a snack whilst we were whilst we were away? I hope you did. Cheers. I'm filled up again. Bricked up on a Friday afternoon. Okay, maybe not bricked up, but like... <laughs> Alright, spirits are happy, so it might be a good day to go fishing. Alright. So, Piers is finally... Ah! Damn it. Back open. I hate that at the beginning of the game that they're closed every Wednesday. It hurts. It physically hurts. 
Alright. There we go. And then grab these last two. There we go. What's everybody's favorite Stardew Valley crop? Like, I know that's a weird question, but like... You know there's that one crop that you always make hella of? Like, melons. For me, it's blueberries and strawberries. I fucking... They just, especially when you pick the blueberries, it just sounds so nice. <laughs> like, the sound effect of picking the blueberries is so, like, ugh! I think it's great. All right. Uh, I don't need my sword. I don't know why I am just have that. Oh my god, and it's not even... It's not even time yet! Oh, look at how much money I made. I didn't realize we are at $5,000 right now. Amazing. Is that enough to buy the what's it called upgrade? The backpack upgrade? Because the so far this has been pain. Everything in me is uh, begging for some more inventory space. Yeah, beginning game Stardew was always so rough. But I feel like because it's rough, it makes you want to grind more. Tell me if you don't agree, but I think because it's so tough in the beginning, it makes me want to play more. It makes me want to like, I don't know, beat the odds, I guess. A little bit more of like an underdog story. Mm, speaking of underdog, reminds me of Savannah underdog, my sim in uh, my high school rags to riches playthrough. I finished editing an episode last night and I will be uploading a new episode today after stream. I just have to work on the thumbnail. But I'm excited to post it. Um, Savannah and Greta have like a little lunch date, not lunch, like dinner date, and it ends up being so fucking chaotic. Mm, I've been considering doing like a branching out a little bit more into like Stardew content as far as videos go, but I'm not sure yet. All right, what do we have here? Welcome to Pierre's. Oh, is this just him being an asshole? I've seen this. Him just coming in and offering everyone a discount. Oh, it's only $2,000? Give me that shit. The fuck? I can't believe <laughs> it was only $2,000? Taking all of it. All right. Give me the nippies. Take like 26. And then I shall also buy... Oh no, I'm not gonna need that. I can... <coughs> oh, bless me. I can make fertilizer. I have plenty. I have plenty of shit to make fertilizer with. Oh, hello, Willy? Ahoy, Ventussy! I recommend casting your line over at Cheerwater Bridge. You'll land some good whoppers there. What do you mean? Random. But okay. I guess I will try to do that. Alright. Here we go. Give me... Like, a million, please. Here we go. Great. So that's nine. Ooh, clay! Nine, eighteen. Ventussy? Yes. <laughs> that is, uh, that is my Stardew character's name, is Ventussy. 
Ventussy this gussy, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> I don't. Sounds like something someone would use for venti. Oh, I guess it does sound similar. I'm gonna put these two just like right here. But yeah, you're right. That sounds super similar. I At the time, I thought it sounded more like um, Ventus from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Can I tell y'all something? I almost chose my online name as Ventus. Like from Kingdom Hearts. How would we feel about that if I wasn't Haven? If I had introduced to you, myself to you as Ventus. I couldn't, I couldn't justify <laughs> using a Kingdom Heart character name as my online name. I just couldn't justify it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> there we go. Great. Ooh. I'm sorry, my boobages. Okay. Ah! F. I didn't know you could hold down F and use your thing. <gasps> I did not know that you could use F. That's nice. I like that. But yeah, I was almost gaming Ventus. <laughs> well, it probably would have been gaming Ventus. I came up with the with the handle Gaming Haven after I came up with the name Haven. So it was it was it probably would have ended up being something super different. <laughs> it's Ventus TM. Kitty, please move. Um, well, I don't really have any energy left today. I might as well just sleep. Private dating chat girls. Oh, hi. <laughs> Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> I know the bots followed me here. The bots followed me here. Rip. I can't ban. Oh no. Oh wait, Arthur, here. Would would you like to be a mod? I didn't really I guess I haven't really thought of it. I haven't thought of modding for, for YouTube, <laughs> which is dumb, but here we are. Yeah, that's so strange. Also, let me test, let me test something. Stream elements, are you here? No. <gasps> no, it is. Wow. Look at that. I actually have stream elements here. <laughs> Whatever you want. Oh, Arthur, you're so sweet. I appreciate you. Arthur is now a mod for my channel. There you go. Ooh, I don't know if you get a green sword. No, probably not. I wonder what you get. I'm uh, I'm excited to see your next message <laughs> because I don't know what YouTube moderators get. <gasps> Ooh, you get a little, you get the little wrenchy wrench. How cute. You look like stream elements. <laughs> you and stream elements are matching right now. How cute. Thank you, Arthur. I really appreciate it. Um, don't feel pressured to like be a be a perfect mod because even I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> even I have no clue how the fuck to mod, but I appreciate your presence regardless. I have a request for you. I need a cauliflower. I will bring it to you. Well, my chat froze. Oh no! Was it the bot? It was the bot. Not that. Are you still here, Emily? Not Emily, May. I am Stream Elements. 
Oh god. Tina's a bot, now Arthur's a bot. Who's next? Who's gonna be a bot next? Oh god, I had so much shit. Alright. But that was exciting. My first my first experience with bots on YouTube. Is this what it's like to feel discovered? It's like I'm famous. <laughs> I blocked the bot and reported it, and then chat was like, let me freeze. Oh no. Well, I appreciate you reporting the bot. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure with the two reports from me and then you, I'm sure that they'll get taken out right quick. But I appreciate you, May. Get rid of all that shit. I might keep, like, a couple leaks. Because I know that George likes them. Let's go give Jody this cauliflower. Oh. I forgot to plant, not plant, water these. I don't think I have enough time for another cauliflower. <laughs> Foimus things. Foimus. <laughs> Foimus. It's just online influencer things. I hate that term influencer <laughs> no boo boo influencer term <gasps> spring onions i don't know who this is but don't mind if i do all right <laughs> please <laughs> But it is, it is kind of a gross term. Like, I don't like the term influencer. It just, I think it's become something that just I associate with, uh, like, I don't know, bigger creators and creators that are a little bit more like, you know, that like, scam their, what's it called? Their fans. Like, I'm thinking of, like, when I think of, like, influencer, I think of, like, Gabby Hanna. I think of, like, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I think of, like, um, TikTokers. <laughs> the word just makes me cringe. Yeah, right? It's, like, and it's, it's always the people that call themselves influencers, too. That's always the weirdest. Like, what do you do for work? Oh, I'm an influencer. And who are you influencing, exactly? You know, like, it's always the worst when people call themselves influencers. I much prefer the term content creator. Same, same, same. It's like serving, being in a stinky Netflix movie and misusing your platform. It's serving being in a stinky Netflix movie. <laughs> Not the dig at fucking uh, Addison Ray. Those movies were hot garbage. Hot hot garbage. <laughs> they 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 were hot garbage. I actually sat and watched them um, because my niece, my uh, gosh, she's about to turn ten. She's really into Addison Ray, and she wanted me to watch. The movies that she was in with her. And boy. Who fucking boy is what I gotta say. Oh. No. Put those. Or no. Go back. And then. There we go. Yeah, there is no need. It was not it. Yeah. Like, like, if you get offered to do a movie with Netflix, I wouldn't turn it down. But also, it was just really bad. Like, since when were you an actress, ma'am? All I think about is, if you 
give this to me for free, I will shout you out. I'm an influencer with a lot of followers. <laughs> that is kind of what it gives. Hi, I'm an I'm a micro influencer. And I was just wondering if you would be willing to send me free shit. And in return, I will give you a 30 second segment on my next stream. On my next Instagram live. <laughs> That's right. I feel like influencers are always on their Instagram lives. I'm going to go pop on Instagram live and vent. And I'm going to rant and rave. Need something built? I do not. But I do need to give you your axe. There you go. Do I have enough money for a coop yet? No, it's 4,000. I almost have enough. I'm pretty sure I have enough materials. I can go double check in a little bit. But I'm going to want to start working on my farm very soon. All right. Where's George today? Oh, hello, Evelyn. Hello. Here's a leak. There you go. All right. And let me go give that cauliflower to Jody. Like, don't worry. I'm like low key famous. I have 1.5 1.5k fo followers on Instagram, so like you should really be paying me for the exposure. <laughs> oh beam, oh beam. You know exactly the type of people I'm talking about, and I love it. Where's Jody? Oh, the traveling merchant's in town. Hell yeah. But where's Jody? Pierre, Abigail, Harvey. Where does Jody, like, even go? Like, what does she even do? Louis, Haley, Madu, Sebastian, Linus. I love that you did it the same way I did when I wrote it. <laughs> I love it. It just, it comes through so clearly. Not the vocal fry, please. Oh, influencers love vocal fry. <laughs> Jody doesn't even go here. <laughs> influencers love to talk like this with like the vocal fry in the back of their throat. And, like, they definitely don't realize that they're causing permanent damage to their vocal cords by doing this every single day. But, like, I sound cool and sexy, so why would I stop? <laughs> My vocal coach in college used to get on us for any type of vocal fry. Even if we would, like, just come in, like, 8 a.m. and be like, hi, Danielle. She'd be like, ah! Stop it! Speak like a human! No more vocal fry. Stop it. Speak up. Enunciate. Project. <laughs> I know she was trying to take care of us, but it was always really funny. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Jody, where the fuck are you? Maybe when, now that everyone's shuffled a little bit. Jenkins, George and Alex, Caroline and Gunther. Like, what is, where does Jody even go? Okay, maybe I'll look for her later. This is frustrating. Yeah, maybe I'll look for her later. Okay, Kim K ask. <laughs> I feel like that's probably why it's that kind of vocal fry has gotten so popular. Because Kim K does it. 
That's how a lot of the Kardashians speak. With like that really back in the throat, like vocal fry. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. Isn't it more comfy to like enunciate? Puff a fish. I'll grab that. Sandfish, I'll grab that. Uh, apricot tree. Oh, I could also use that. Let me just eat this really quick. Excuse me. Let me just empty my pockets by eating an entire leek in front of you. <laughs> and then... Here we go! Now I can donate all of these to the community center. <laughs> I'm going to go. I have 30 minutes until stream and I need to finalize a few things. Oh my gosh, no worries, friend. Have a good stream, everyone. I hope you have an amazing stream. That's got to be so much fun. I hope to catch you over there soon. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you again so much for showing up. Always a joy to see you. All right, let's go and drop all this stuff off. And I'll check again for Jody. Oh, should she she should be at Joja Mart? Oh, she is! Look at that! May! I love you. May, you're my favorite. Have I told you that? You're the bestest. Jody! Oh? Hello? Oh, am I getting a clear scene? Can't keep my eyes open. So tired. Girl, you can't be going into work like that. Go home, get some rest. Your job is not worth it. I know, May Slay. Slay Slay. We love to see it. Hello, Jody. There you go. Amazing. Do you want me to post the wiki in the Discord? Oh, that would be helpful. Thank you, friend. Oh, please don't tell my manager I was dozing off on my shift. I'd get in a lot of trouble. Poor Claire. You need to have a better work-life balance, girl. Poor thing. Oop. A slave to the system. Like so many of us. Oh, excuse me? Gosh, a lot of people getting in the way. Alright, I got two fish. Boom and boom. And then I also... Ah! I don't have this one yet! I didn't need to buy this stupid shell! Did it. I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! Scroll down... Dang it! I wasted my money to buy that. Oi! It's fine. We'll just go fishing for the rest of the day and make back the money. Alright, let's go make that money back. We'll try for an eel tonight, I think. <laughs> oh, goodbye! Oh, did you see the little wave she did? That was really cute. I love Penny. She's so sweet. And I also just am such a sucker for people that are good with kids. Like, do I like kids? Eh, not really. Like, they're fine. Um, but when someone else is really good with kids, I think that that's attractive as hell. Kids are so hard to deal with, and if they like you, like, you've got to be doing something right. You know, that's how I see it. <laughs> And also, I don't have to deal with them if you're good with them. 
I've always been very awkward with like babies, particularly. Like infants, that freaks me out. I am constantly getting in trouble with my family for not holding the children, like as, as baby babies, because I just don't want to. I'm gonna like drop it. Those things have self-destruct buttons on their head, the little soft spot. I'm gonna like accidentally press into it or drop it or hit it against something. And I'm gonna hit the button and it's gonna like, you know, and then it's my fault. And I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> I get, I get extremely nervous with holding infants like that. And plus, they're like... Not to be gross, but they're like, fresh. Like, they probably still have like... Like, vaginal secretions all over them. Like, they just popped out of that vagina. I don't really want to touch it. Like, you know, sorry, I don't want to touch something that you just popped out of your coochie. All right? I don't want to let the stench wear off. Not the stench, but <laughs> I want to let it, like, wear off. You know, get, like, a couple of baths under his belt. Before I go touch it on it. What? Oh, hello, Magneta. Arthur! <laughs> We were sluggish. Oh, bro. <laughs> I need a jail right now. I know. I know. I need to find like another bot, like mix it up, but for YouTube. I'm such a noob when it comes to the YouTube streaming space. I don't know shit. <laughs> But why put me in jail for speaking the truth? I am speaking my truth! Excuse me, excuse me. Alright. Oh, not the seaweed. Keep the seaweed. Also, maybe keep these? So I think I can put those in a bundle. Put that away. Oh, I forgot my watering can. There we go. It's fine. You're new to it. <laughs> I am new to it. I'm very, very new. I'm still trying to figure shit out. Hey. I think we might have enough for a coop now. That's good to see. I need some beans. Oh, Magneta's coming over. I can see her like sauntering over. Hello, Magneta. Oh, are you gonna come? I can see her, like, trying to get over here. Come on! Do you want to sit in my lap? Or... Did you just want to, like, perch on the couch and stare at me? <laughs> Come here. Are you really waiting for me to carry you? Oh my god. You are so spoiled! You hear that? You're so spoiled! <laughs> hello baby say hello baby kitty here G 
She's very happy to be here today. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, kitty. She just wanted cuddle. Yeah, you want to hang out with mama for a little while? You're being so cute! You see, I can't get upset with you when you do dumb shit. Because then you're just so sweet afterwards, like this. How am I ever supposed to be mad at you, huh? <laughs> I know, she has my whole ass heart. She could get away with anything at this point. She has me so wrapped around her goddamn finger. Oh, it's only 7.30. Let me check. Ooh, I don't have enough wood. So let's go and get some. Oh. Hello, Magneta. You want to get settled? Or are you just going to, like, chill there? <laughs> she has both of her paws on my boobs, and she's, like, standing up on them. <laughs> Can you chillax? Why? Why are you like this? What are you doing? You're so weird. Are you having trouble? There we go. That should be enough for like one or two more trees, right? Oh, Magneta, your tail is all over my keyboard. There. I can't see my wazda when you put your furry little tail all over it. Ow. <laughs> I understand I'm starting to feel exhausted, but also, what if I just decided to not feel like that? Oy, I'm wasting all of my leaks that I saved for George. These were meant for George. Oh, excuse me. I think I could probably get one more, right? Come on. I'll leave the stump. There we go. Save us a little bit of reserve. Oh, hello. You want to focus up, my guy? Okay. Well, I guess that solved that. <laughs> yeah, kitty. All right. Give me the coop. Give me the coop coop. I'm just going to put it right next to my house. At least for right now. You might as well, you know? Um, ooh, I do need to go to the Adventurer's Guild, but I don't think they open until 2. Alright. What to do? Well, I have a little bit of money left. Potato? No. Let me sell these. And then take six days. Here we go. I had just enough for nine potato seeds. Earn a little bit more of a profit before it gets too late in the season, you know? Oh, does that feel good? <laughs> you are so precious. There you go. You know what's something that I've noticed in Coral Island when compared to Stardew? Is that in Coral Island, I feel like my range 
is super big. Like, you know how, like, I can only say water something, like, one square away from me? I feel like in Coral Island, I could do it, like, over here. And he just kind of, like, huh! like, throws the water. <laughs> Which I really appreciate. Because I don't always want to be moving around. Uh, let's grab these and donate them really quick. But then I don't really have a lot to do otherwise. <clears throat> I guess we can just go to bed. But then I feel like I'm wasting a whole day. It's a constant struggle. Crab pot. Yes. See, I knew there was a reason that I wanted to keep those. Mm, I should also... Let's head down to the beach. And see if there's any more stuff for the crab pot. Hello. I almost dug through the trash, like, right in front of them. <laughs> Ooh. Is that the first lost book I've gotten? Dude! What have we been doing this season? Uh, I don't really see anything over here. Alright, alright. Then I guess we will just go home. <gasps> oh, hello, Sophia! We're having a moment. Hi! Oh, bye! She's hiding from us behind her grapes. Oh, Ventussy? It's just you? Hell yeah. Sorry, I get startled easily. Um, hey, you're kind of new to farming, so... <laughs> um, I want to give you a device as my way of welcoming you to the valley. Follow me to my storage chest. I think that Sophia is so sweet. I think she gives me a sprinkler here. Yeah, and it's a quality one at that. Thank you so much. That actually helps a lot. I can put that down um, over on my potatoes. Even though I Oh, that means I'm gonna have to get rid of one potato. I'm gonna have to get rid of the one in the middle. Yeah, kitty kitty. So sweet. Alright. Oh, I could also put it up here. You know what? Let's do that instead. These are cheaper anyways. All right, and I guess I'll just go to bed. We don't have any other energy, any more energy. We don't have any money for snacks. Oh fuck, did we not sell anything? Oh my God. Why do I feel like we're not doing like the best job? Radish salad. So yummy. <gasps> Dad! You're a G! Oh my god. Not Dad sending me money right when I needed it. <laughs> Could not be me in real life. <laughs> but uh, glad to see that ha to s glad to see that it happens in the game world, for me at least. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to, like, lay down or something? She's just, like, awkwardly sitting in my lap. You don't want to, like, get cozy? She's just standing and purring. You smell like cat food. Yeah, you're stinky. You need another bath. 
Anyone else that has an old, an elder cat will understand that she needs so many baths all the time. Because she's so old, she can't clean herself. Boom, boom. And a boom. Ugh, fuck. And boom. There. Um, I wasted a lot- not wasted, but I got rid of a lot of wood yesterday. So I'm thinking we spend some time kind of restocking. Plus, the majority of my farm is still messy looking anyways. So I figure, you know, might as well. Okay. I'm gonna need a silo before too long as well. Definitely before winter. Which means that I can't get rid of all of the grass. Oops. Here we go. Boom. 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 Ooh. Arm is itchy. There we go. Oh, I forgot I have hardwood on um, the what's it called farm. The forest farm. Let's go. There's so much too. Fuck. <laughs> well, never mind. Damn it. I forgot I needed a, at least a bronze one. A bronze axe. Boom, boom. Okay. Great. Restock on all this wood. Honestly, I feel like cleaning up my initial farm is always one of my favorite things in Stardew. Cause like it's mindless, but it also feels good to watch your farm slowly look better and better. I really like the progression of this game. sure the pink trees are a part of a, a recolor mod that I have downloaded. But they're very pretty. I like the pop of color that they bring. Alright, and I think one more tree should do it for now. And there we go. I guess maybe I can smelt some stuff. Oh, not me not even being done watering. Embarrassing. Okay. Great. Put this away. Uh, yeah, I have some... Actually, hmm. I should probably make another furnace or two, if I'm being honest. Oh, I can make five? Jesus. <laughs> and then there were 69. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, having one furnace was definitely not gonna cut it. Oh, hello. Oh, we have a Leah scene. Hello, Leah. Ventussy, hello. It's a lovely day today. I've dropped by to check on my green beans and they're ready to harvest. Gus and Pierre were here a little while ago taking care of their crops too. Leah's such a baddie. Pelican Town's community goal garden is pretty nifty, wouldn't you say, Ventussy? It's cute, but my farm can hold 40 times more. What a dick response. Oh, can I have a grin bin? Give me grin bin. 
I want to have it. It's fresh. Yes, green bin. Thank you. <clears throat> it gave me a little bit of energy. Oh, no, it didn't. I can donate the green bin. Haha, <laughs> I don't have to wait. Until my green beans are done, I can just go and donate this shit right now. Haha! <laughs> Not this one. This one. Hee <laughs> hee! Green bin! Yay! And some speed grow. Cool! Very pleased. Oh. Ah, okay. I th the bulletin board um, bundle comes last, doesn't it? Hmm. Alright, maybe I can buy a couple more parsnips. There we go. God, my phone keeps blowing up with Twitch live notifications. Everybody's going live on a Friday night. Everybody. Molly, no. Molly, no. Molly, no. Don't start barking. Don't do it. Don't you do it, Molly. Please. Mama's asking you please. <laughs> she just keeps making her little, like, under her breath, like, <laughs> All right. Oh, this is already tilled. Parsnip. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep those and eat them. I like how the dandelions give you energy, but <laughs> for some reason the daffodils don't. <laughs> don't do it, Molly, please. She's being a good girl. She'd be very, very good. She didn't do her full bark, so I'm very proud of her. Huh, Molly, are you being such a good girl? Her tail's wagging. So cute. All right. Ah, crap. I keep forgetting. My watering can. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure that I'm gonna get some good quality crops. Ah! Magneta's finally, like, laid down. Or wait, are you? No, she's still standing. She's just like curled up like this. And her legs are like straight on my leg, on my thigh. Yeah, are you being a little weirdo? Just stand. Here, why don't you get settled in like that? Yeah, she's so bony. <laughs> I was talking to my therapist the other day about how Magneta is almost 20. And she's so old and so bony that you can like run your finger down her spine and count all of her vertebrae yeah say i'm just a bony girl and she eats a lot she's got like a big belly it's just she's bony and old huh baby girl and we do a lot of stuff to like help her retain weight like add extra fats a lot of vitamin e huh baby so I so well taken care of. I love my mama. And mama love you. Ew, it smells. Gross. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Marlin has the key. Marlin, the man who hunts monsters? Why do you think he has it? 
I saw a big rusty old key fall off of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Oh, squelch. There's something moving around in there. Hello. I love how that never, like, amounts to much. Vincent sounds like that character in Danganronpa. Oh my god, he sounds like, um... There's a couple of characters I give that, like, really nasally voice. There's Himiko. Himiko is all the way up here. And then there's Kokichi, and he's, like, more down here and more like an asshole. And then there's also Monotaro, who's way up here and likes to just be really fucking annoying to do. Mommy! <laughs> and Monotaro was the little fucking cub. The one that kept calling Mew Mommy. Mommy! Oh, a starfish. Hello, a Magneta cat. Ooh, 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 bubbles. Your voices are so good. Oh, thank you, Arthur. I appreciate that. I try my best. I'm not a professional, but I do like to give them as distinct voices as I can. <laughs> Sometimes when I pit Magneta's jaw... She like opens her mouth and it's like <laughs> It's really funny. Ooh, Willie my guy, you were going to have to get out of my way. Oi! No! Okay. No! It landed right as it disappeared. <laughs> Oh my god, that's too cruel. Why would it do this to me? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. All of that just to give me some fucking seaweed afterwards. a dull seaweed by the way or is it dulce 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 i don't know if it was like that it'd be spelled with a c your ears need a cleaning yeah it does your ears need to be clean they do they do All right. Oh, the pretty kitty. There we go. And I think once we get into bed, this might be where I end off stream for the day. I know it's a bit shorter than usual, but I am feeling just really tired. Um, so I think I might want to pack it in a little bit earlier than usual. Alright. Let's make sure we sleep and save. Ooh! Oh, I got like eleven hundred dollars just from selling strawberries we love to see that all right day 22 of spring is where we're going to stop off for the day i think
Not me accidentally hitting every single scene but the right scene. <laughs> we love to see it. Um, but y'all, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that came in today. Again, I'm sorry for the shorter stream. I'm just feeling a little tired. Um, end of the week, you know, it's been a long one. But I hope that you all had such a good week. I hope that you all are heading into a wonderful weekend. Um, and I will catch you all on Twitch for some more Danganronpa on Sunday at 2 o'clock. I'm really excited. Thanks for stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. And uh, there's no raids. I was just about to say, let me go and see who to raid, but there's nobody. I guess we're just going to end it here. <laughs> all right, y'all. Again, I will see you on Thursday. Not Thursday. Today is Thursday. I will see you on Sunday um, over on my Twitch. Here are my socials in case you don't already follow me on any of those. But I will see you all on Sunday. Have a good rest of your day and a happy time zone, y'all. Bye. I love you all so much. <laughs>